this beforehand. Hi guys, welcome. My name is Josie from Josie Nicole Photography. I'm a wedding and boudoir photographer based in Ottawa. I love to travel though, hit me up wherever you may be. I was born and raised in Calgary, Alberta, so I'm a true Canadian at heart. And I totally am in love with makeup. I do it for myself all the time, it's lots of fun. I'm gonna do this look today because boudoir is something that's a lot of fun for everyone involved. Do it for yourself. It's it's so much fun. It's such a blast. Um, I've done, I've modeled myself for boudoir three, three separate times and every time I just fall in love with myself a little bit more and it's such a great experience. I recommend it for absolutely everyone. But I totally understand that it can be expensive. You have the full session cost you have if you want to buy an album for yourself or a loved one, uh, any kind of tangible item like maybe prints in a nice box, prints, anything. And then you have of course hair and makeup that you might be paying for. It's impossible not to buy special lingerie for a boudoir shoot because that's just really fun and exciting to buy. It can add up and can be a lot of money. So I wanted to show you guys how to do a boudoir makeup look for yourself at home with the products that you already have. Um, I did my best to kind of explain the, the tones and colors and how to make what you have at home work. Um, it's really not a complicated look, it just takes a little bit of time, a lot of blending, and a lot of love. I really hope you guys like it. This is the look. So hopefully you guys like this tutorial and you find it useful. Uh, this is one of two that will be coming after this one's posted, but they're both going to be on one big blog post. So if you're already on my blog, thanks for coming. This is awesome. This is really cool. I'm super new to this whole talking to the camera YouTube thing. So please be kind. Share me some love. Share me some love. Share me some love. Does that make sense? Send me some love. Give it a thumbs up. All right. Thank you. Okay, so normally you prep your eyes first. I've already done this. Um, I have some of my products here that I use. The Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion Original is really good. You can use concealer, Tarte Shape Tape. But yeah, let's get to it. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. I'm gonna go in with the color Nudie. It's this one right here. Hopefully you can see. It's the second lightest color. With a big fluffy brush, I got this off Amazon. It came as like a kit of like 25 brushes. It's, they're all really soft, cruelty free, vegan. The brand name is Anju, but it's a nice, big, super floofy, fluffy brush. Uh, probably made for blending, but I have a couple other blending brushes that I prefer, so I'm gonna use this one to do my transition shade. Uh, and then I'm just gonna go into the crease all the way across getting up to the eyebrow pretty much just going over the entire crease area now the best advice i was ever given when doing makeup was to have your mirror below you but have the brush coming from above and then i'm gonna go in with commando which is one over from nudie it's a little bit more purple in tone i go in with a skinnier brush it's you can see it's still super fluffy and plush, but not as big. And we're just gonna keep it nice and tight in the crease and not go as high up and as far across. So as you can see, I already start to have a bit of a gradient and that's exactly what I want. So we're gonna go in with an even smaller brush. It's still pretty fluffy. We were in with Nudie, Commando, and now I'm going in with Tempted, just slowly working my way down the gradient here. And this one I really want you guys to just focus on just the corner and keeping it nice and tight. So you're just like decreasing the area that you're putting the makeup on as you get darker. Um, keeping it mostly outer corner and crease. And then I'm just going to go back in with that big fluffy brush, just going to grab some more Nudie and just kind of fluff over top, just blend it in a little bit. So we were just with Tempted with this brush, and I'm gonna take the same brush and go in with Lethal. It's a super dark purple. This palette is awesome. You don't have to go and buy this palette. I'm sure you have your own makeup palettes, but the point is that you're building in darkness, so you're not starting out with the darkest color. 
Obviously, a more advanced makeup artist could do that. I most definitely cannot. You maybe may. I have an idea. Do your best. And then this one really focus just on the outer corner, a little bit into the crease, and don't get too heavy handed with it. Little circles or little um, like windshield wiper movements that needs to be blended out. So I'm gonna take my blending brush. This is from Sephora. It's from one of their like preset kits. Back to nudie again. And normally I have these little sticky things that go under my eye to help catch all the fallout and they help make your wing look good and all that stuff. I'm not going to use it because it looks really silly uh, and it's kind of uncomfortable, but I highly recommend that. Or using tape if you're not that experienced with makeup because it really, really does help um, keep it looking nice and tight on the end. Okay, now that I, I've done that, I'm going to take a more condensed brush. This is actually a concealer brush, but I use it for my eyes. It's from Benefit. No. Bare Essentials. We're going to take Blow, which is the brightest color here. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. We're just going to pack that on the inner side of the eye and bring it up and just to brighten up the look. And then take that same blending brush and we're just going to Cool. Now we're going to take this beautiful purple color. It is Makeup Forever. It's just a single pan. 6P01. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like this. I don't know if you can see in the light. Like it's super shimmery. Makeup Forever is not cruelty free, by the way. More technical difficulties. This is a totally different day and I'm just going to pick up right where I left off with the Makeup Forever single pan. And we're going to go in with a kind of flat, dense, short little brush here. And we're literally just going to go right over top, kind of covering the whole lid. Whoa, look at this hair. Oh lord. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty close, pretty similar. Uh, we're gonna brighten the look up a tiny bit um, by using any highlighter, or preferably like a cool tone highlighter. I have a Becca one here. Oh, the color's pearl, so it's super like, white. And we're just gonna take a little flat brush and we're gonna put that in the inner corner of the eye. That's just gonna brighten up the whole look. You can use any shimmery bright color you may have in, in another palette or anything like that. Highlighter works just as well though. Um, use what you got. Now we're gonna go back in with that transition shade, Nudie. The very first one we started with, with a big fluffy brush. And we're gonna do it underneath the eye. This gives a nice smoky, um, kind of more dramatic look. Uh, we're just gonna go super light, so keep your hand at the end of the brush, really light strokes, super soft, and just fully underneath the whole eye. Holding your camera up nice and high means that you're naturally gonna look up, which is just gonna help allow you to do the strokes underneath without blinking too much or without it getting in your eye. And then we're gonna go in with an even smaller brush here. Still fluffy, small brush, and we're gonna take Tempted, which is that shade right there. Just keep it outer corner and super close to the eye. Then we're gonna go in with an even, like this is a smudging, super dense brush. And we're gonna go in with Lethal, the very dark purple color that we had before here. And this we're gonna get just right along that eyelash line. I'm just gonna keep it super close to the outer corner. There, that's it, that's all. And just take a nice fluffy brush and kind of smoothen that out. Beautiful, and there you have it. Okay, so all that's left is mascara and lipstick. I hate mascaras, I, I, I can never find a good one that I like, so I'm always trying new ones. And I always try and do my best to get cruelty free, but this time I failed. So for this look, because I want it to be a little bit lighter and a little bit less moody, I'm gonna leave eyeliner out. 
I really don't think this look even needs it. I think it looks great without it. For the moody look I'm going to be doing, I will get full in with eyeliner and fake lashes. Lower lash. So, hydrate, exfoliate your lips, obviously, before you put anything on. I didn't, sorry. I'm going to use the NYX NYX Lingerie. It is in color <laughs> Bedtime Flirt. NYX is awesome. They're an awesome brand. I really love them, super affordable. And they are cruelty free. <laughs> Boudoir, you want to look super sexy, you want to really accentuate all those awesome, beautiful features that you already have. Um, and to do so, sometimes gloss is a really good way to do that. Um, I'm actually going to add a gloss on top of this lip. It's also NYX. It's Pump It Up Lip Plumper. The color, this is in color Kim. It just adds a nice dimension, and I think it looks really good with the shimmer in the eyes. This is a little bit warmer lip than I would go for, so I'd recommend going for something cool if you pick cool tones. But you know what? Just do whatever the fuck you want because it's your boudoir shoot, and you get to make the rules. Going back through some of the products, Urban Decay Ultimate Basics. This is the best naked palette that I think they've made, and I'm going to be doing the warm look with this palette as well just to keep it simple so that if you guys don't want a lot of makeup and you do want to invest in a good palette, I can show you multiple looks with the same one. So I'll link everything below. And yeah, that's that's about it, I think. Cool. Cool. cool.